G'day, Warrior fans! Today is the last day of Rowan Star's week, in which we shall leave him with a lot of unanswered questions. But hey, what can we do? Newest book, Darkest Night, does not come out until November 7th. So until then, we really don't know what became of Rowan Star exactly. Except for that he died. So yeah, Tigerheart is next. Because as of present time, he is the most current Shadow Clan leader to date. But you probably shouldn't date him because he's got a maid and kids now, so I mean, mm. If you have any ideas of speed paints for his week, leave them down below. I could specifically use help with some scenes from Tiger Heart's Shadow. So if you've read that, leave your ideas in the comments section. But for now, back to Rowan Star. The scene that my sister Rachel's gonna be drawing today is of Rowan Star having his position as Shadow Clan leader, challenged by the rogue Dark Tell. And nobody really doing anything to stand against this challenge other than Rowan Star's family, Tawny Pelt and Tiger Heart. Which is sad, because that means he doesn't have his clan support. I'll read you this mutinous scene now. It's on pages 344 through 348 of Thunder and Shadow. Islet Paw's heart lurched as she saw shadowy figures streaming into the clearing. She tasted rogue scent, and as the shapes moved into the moonlight, she recognized Darktail, Rain, Raven, and the rest of their campmates. Islet Paw felt sick. Needle Tell was with them, and Sleek Whisker and Cloverfoot. Every cat from the rogue camp was here except for Beano's. Had she left them? Had the sickness killed her? Violet Paw pressed against Dawn Pelt, ashamed of her trembling paws. What are they doing here? Why have they come? Spike Fur padded to greet the rogues, dipping his head to Dark Tail before turning back to Rowan Star. We need new leadership, he growled. Strong leadership. Rowan Star's eyes sparked with fury. He glared at Spike Fur, and then his gaze flitted angrily round the rebellious cats, before finally resting on Dark Tail. Are you suggesting that we give our clan over to rogues? His mew was icy. Violet Paw saw muscles rippling across Rowan Star's shoulders. His ribs still showed through his pelt from illness, but his hackles rose, and she remembered what a fierce warrior he was. He faced Dark Tell. You will take this clan over my dead body! The light sparked in Dark Tell's gaze. That sounds fair. The rogue leader flung himself at Rowan Star. Violet Paw gasped. <gasps> Rowan Star reared, but the force of Darktail's attack pushed him back. Rowan Star's hind legs trembled as he dug his paws into the earth and braced himself against the snarling rogue. Eyes flashing, Darktail turned his head and bit into the Shadow Clan leader's neck. Rowan Star grunted, twisted beneath Darktail as he tried to shake him off. The Shadow Clan leader must have lost his balance. With a jerk, Darktail flipped him onto his side, just still gripping his neck. Help him! Violet Paw stared at her clanmates. They drew closer, their eyes wide with shock. Why doesn't someone help? Her gaze flitted from the clan cats to the rogues. Needle Tell, where are you? But as soon as she spotted her friend, she knew that she would not stop the attack. Needle Tell was watching the attack with excitement, just like the rest of the rogues. Rowan Star hissed, struggling free from Darktail's grip. He turned on the rogue leader, but Darktail was quicker. He dived beneath Rowan Star's belly and heaved him off his paws. As Rowan Star fell, Darktail lashed out, slicing the Shadow Clan leader's muzzle. Just then, Tigerheart snarled and leaped at the rogue leader. And Tawny Pelt hurled herself after Tigerheart, and together they shoved Darktail away from Rowan Star. Battling him with vicious blows, they drove him back towards his campmates. Tigerheart glared at Tawny Pelt. Together they'd been stalking towards the glowering rogues, snarling. Then, suddenly, Tigerheart looked around and seemed to realize that he and Tawny Pelt were the only cats moving to defend their leader. Wait, he hissed at Tawny Pelt. Looking around the camp, she dropped to all four paws, narrowing her eyes as she glared at the invading cats. The rest of Shadow Clan watched, unmoving. Tigerheart and Tawny Pelt looked at one another, uneasy acceptance flashing in their eyes. And then, they slowly backed away. What's wrong with the others? Violet Paw stared at them in disbelief. Did they all truly want a rogue leader instead of Rowan Star? She glanced at Rowan Star as he staggered to his paws. Blood welled on his muzzle and darkened his neck fur. As he backed towards Dawn Pelt, Violet Paw could see that he was trembling. Dawn Pelt pressed against his flank to steady him. Tigerheart and Tawny Pelt joined him, 
bunching close together like coward mice. Pilot Pop blinked at the huddled group of her clanmates, feeling sick. What do we do? She breathed, one eye on the rogues. Rowan Star looked at her, pain showing in his eyes. We go to the gathering. He padded forward, lifting his chin. Tigerheart and Tawny Pelt followed. Violet Paw started after them. Don Pelt at her side. Spike Burr curled his lip. If you go, he reminded the Shadow Clan leader, don't come back. And then they try to get the medicine cat to come with them, and they're like, well, I can't leave because everyone will die if I go. And then Don Pelt's like, well, actually, yeah, I'm not going either. And then Violet Paw's like, wait, I got my friend here, Needle Tell. She's like my real friend, so I'm not coming either. And so then it just ends up that Tawny Pelt, Rowan Star, and Tigerheart leave all alone. The last good cats in Shadow Clan. So now, Dark Tell's got Shadow Clan in with his kin. If he could see this now, Black Star would be rolling in his grave. You done messed up, Rowan Star. First, you couldn't keep your apprentices in your clan. Now you can't even keep you in your clan. I'd love to hear in the comment section down below what you think of Rowan Star's leadership as a whole. Was he a good leader? Or not at the top of your list? How does he rank up for you against our past Shadow Clan leaders? Personally, I love his family a lot. They're really cute. But I don't think he did the best job with Shadow Clan. He couldn't even make it through three books as a leader. But I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's drawing and theory. Make sure to check out the video on the side of our last speed paint. And click that subscribe button and little bell icon so that you can always be notified when we upload so that you can be part of hashtag early clan. Down below in the description will be links to our eBay and Etsy stores where cool merch items are available for purchase. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon for the next speed paint. Bye bye